Bremsstrahlung from Bremsen to break and Strahlung radiation, i.e., breaking radiation or deceleration radiation is electromagnetic radiation produced by the deceleration of a charged particle when deflected by another charged particle, typically an electron by an atomic nucleus. The moving particle loses kinetic energy, which is converted into a photon, thus satisfying the law of conservation of energy. The term is also used to refer to the process of producing the radiation. Bremsstrahlung has a continuous spectrum, which becomes more intense and whose peak intensity shifts toward higher frequencies as the change of the energy of the accelerated particles increases. Strictly speaking, breaking radiation is any radiation due to the acceleration of a charged particle, which includes synchrotron radiation, cyclotron radiation, and the emission of electrons and positrons during beta decay. However, the term is frequently used in the more narrow sense of radiation from electrons slowing in matter. Bremsstrahlung emitted from plasma is sometimes referred to as free, free radiation. This refers to the fact that the radiation in this case is created by charged particles that are free, i.e., not part of an ion, atom or molecule, both before and after the deflection that caused the emission. Particle in vacuum. A charged particle accelerating in a vacuum radiates power, as described by the Lama formula and its relativistic generalizations. Although the term Bremsstrahlung is usually reserved for charged particles accelerating in matter, not vacuum, the formulas are similar. Total radiated power The most established relativistic formula for total radiated power is given by where is the Lorentz factor signifies a time derivative of, and Q is the charge of the particle. This is commonly written in the mathematically equivalent form. In the case where velocity is parallel to acceleration, the formula simplifies to where is the acceleration. For the case of acceleration perpendicular to the velocity, the total power radiated reduces to the total power radiated in the two limiting cases as proportional to since we see that the total radiated power goes as or, which accounts for why electrons lose energy to Bremsstrahlung radiation much more rapidly than heavier charged particles. This is the reason a TeV energy electron-positron collider cannot use a circular tunnel, while a proton-proton collider can utilize a circular tunnel. The electrons lose energy due to Bremsstrahlung at a rate times higher than protons do. Angular distribution The most general formula for radiated power as a function of angle is, where is a unit vector pointing from the particle towards the observer, and is an infinitesimal bit of solid angle. In the case where velocity is parallel to acceleration, this simplifies to where is the angle between and the direction of observation. Thermal Bremsstrahlung in a plasma, the free electrons continually collide with the ions, producing Bremsstrahlung. A complete analysis requires accounting for both binary Coulomb collisions as well as collective behavior. A detailed treatment is given by beck fee while a simplified one is given by Ichimaru. In this section we follow beck fees dielectric treatment, with collisions included approximately via the cutoff wave number. Consider a uniform plasma, with thermal electrons distributed according to the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution with the temperature. Following beck fee the power spectral density of the Bremsstrahlung radiated is calculated to be where is the electron plasma frequency, is the photon frequency, is the number density of electrons and ions, is the classical radius of electron, is its mass, is the Boltzmann constant, and is the speed of light. The first bracketed factor is the index of refraction of a light wave in a plasma, and shows that emission is greatly suppressed for. This formula thus only applies for. Note that the second bracketed factor has units of 1, volume and the third factor has units of energy, giving the correct total units of energy, volume. 
This formula should be summed over ion species in a multi-species plasma. The special function is defined in the exponential integral article, and the unitless quantity is as a maximum or cutoff wave number, arising due to binary collisions, and can vary with ion species. Roughly, when, wherever is the Hartree energy, and is the electron thermal de Broglie wavelength. Otherwise, where is the classical Coulomb distance of closest approach? For the usual case, we find the formula for is approximate, in that it neglects enhanced emission occurring for slightly above. In the limit, we can approximate E1 as where is the Euler Masteroni constant. The leading logarithmic term is frequently used, and resembles the Coulomb logarithm that occurs in other collisional plasma calculations. For the log term is negative, and the approximation is clearly inadequate. Beckfi gives corrected expressions for the logarithmic term that match detailed binary collision calculations. The total emission power density, integrated over all frequencies, is and decreases with it is always positive. 4. We find the first bracketed factor has units of 1, volume, while the second has units of power. Note the appearance of the fine structure constant due to the quantum nature of, in practical units, a commonly used version of this formula for is this formula is 1.59 times the one given above with the difference due to details of binary collisions. Such ambiguity is often expressed by introducing Gaunt factor, e.g., in one finds where everything is expressed in the CGS units. Relativistic corrections for very high temperatures There are relativistic corrections to this formula, that is, additional terms of the order of Bremstrahlung cooling if the plasma is optically thin, the Bremstrahlung radiation leaves the plasma, carrying part of the internal plasma energy. This effect is known as the Bremstrahlung cooling. It is a type of radiative cooling. The energy carried away by Bremstrahlung is called Bremstrahlung losses and represents a type of radiative losses. One generally uses the term Bremstrahlung losses in the context when the plasma cooling is undesired, as e.g., in fusion plasmas, polarizational Bremstrahlung. Polarizational Bremstrahlung is the radiation emitted by the target's atomic electrons as the target atom is polarized by the Coulomb field of the incident charged particle. Polarizational Bremstrahlung contributions to the total Bremstrahlung spectrum have been observed in experiments involving relatively massive incident particles, resonance processes, and free atoms. However, there is still some debate as to whether or not there are significant polarizational Bremstrahlung contributions in experiments involving fast electrons incident on solid targets. It is worth noting that the term polarizational is not meant to imply that the emitted Bremstrahlung is polarized. Also, the angular distribution of polarizational Bremstrahlung is theoretically quite different than ordinary Bremstrahlung. Quantum mechanical description. The complete quantum mechanical description was first performed by Beta and Heitler. They assumed plane waves for electrons which scatter at the nucleus of an atom, and derived a cross-section which relates the complete geometry of that process to the frequency of the emitted photon. The quadruply differential cross-section which shows a quantum mechanical symmetry to pair production, is there is the atomic number, the fine structure constant, the reduced Planck's constant and the speed of light. The kinetic energy of the electron in the initial and final state is connected to its total energy or its moment of I or where is the mass of an electron. Conservation of energy gives where is the photon energy. The directions of the emitted photon and the scattered electron are given by where is the momentum of the photon. The differentials are given as the absolute value of the virtual photon between the nucleus and electron is the range of validity is given by the Born approximation where this relation has to be fulfilled for the velocity of the electron in the initial and final state. 
For practical applications it can be interesting to focus on the relation between the frequency of the emitted photon and the angle between this photon and the incident electron. Cohn and Ebert integrated the quadruply differential cross-section by Beta and Heitler over an and obtained with an however, a much simpler expression for the same integral can be found in an in. An analysis of the doubly differential cross-section above shows that electrons whose kinetic energy is larger than the rest energy emit photons in forward direction while electrons with a small energy emit photons isotropically. Electron-electron Bremstrahlung one mechanism which is important for small atomic numbers, is the scattering of a free electron at the shell electrons of an atom or molecule. Since electron-electron bremsstrahlung is a function of and the usual electron nucleus bremsstrahlung is a function of, electron-electron bremsstrahlung is negligible for metals. For air, however, it plays an important role in the production of terrestrial gamma-ray flashes.